All right, Donald Trump. All these protests going on. Why? Why? Like the man hasn't even gotten in office yet. He hasn't even. No one's given him a chance. Why should? Why should? Why? Like, I don't understand. Like somebody make me understand why all these, the Hillarys, they're all you know, but burning burning their own cities down for literally someone who hasn't even gotten a second to to do something like somebody help me understand that well i'll give you the i'll give you the three factors that go into it number one look at the generation that's out there these people all through their life they've been given trophies for losing they don't know how to lose that's number one number two most of the people out in the streets that are that are breaking windows stealing stuff looting and all this crap which is not free speech it's rioting and it's insane And they deserve to be shot. But aside from the point, the second reason, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, yeah. The the second reason is these people, they're being funded by MoveOn.org and George Soros. They're paying them money to go out there and riot. They're getting paid by the hour to go out there and do this crap. Now, some people are out there just doing it because they want to do it. But the majority, like in L.A., those millions of people that were marching, they were all paid. George Soros paid them to go out there and do that crap. So they're going to go out there and do it because they just want money. Even people that didn't even care about the election went out there and did it. Number three, the media. The media is propagating all this bull crap. They're sitting there telling people that Trump's racist, Trump's racist. We got to rise up. We got to do something about it. And so now, and they don't like the electoral college. And by the way, he did win the popular vote because 10 million dead voted, 3 million illegal voted. So let's get that out of the way. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's how I would sum it up why these nutcases are doing what they're doing. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Uh, I don't know. I saw this. It was news is so corrupt and they just love to just to, to to agonize the line agonize one word antagonize people just to, to, to to forward the movement of anti-Trump. I think there's a, there's a lot I mean, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot of inside, you know, work going on to try to overthrow the the legal and the the decision that America made on in November. You know, I, it's, it's messed up. Oh yeah, there there definitely is. Um, did you see John Podesta, the um, the can like the campaign head, the campaign head for Hillary? He got caught in his emails. He emailed the heads of CNN and told them. Do not ask these certain questions when Hillary comes for an interview. Yeah, that happened. I mean, they're working together. That oh man, that's that's it's just something. Oh. Well, see, all the conglomerates, all the media conglomerates, are run by the same little group of people that rule the world. The elites, they they run all the media. Now, I will say, like Fox, CNN, they're all garbage. Except now, Tucker Carlson. I'm surprised. He Fox speaks pretty. They gave him a headline primetime show. And I like that guy. Tarka Carlson's right, but he's like the only person on mainstream media that's actually decent to listen to. I'm surprised <laughs> they gave him that show. Yeah. But uh, I was listening to uh, Alex Jones the other day. My I, man. I, I, was, I didn't know if you were like like completely for him or against him or what. Oh, I'm all for him. I yeah. love my man. I was listening to Alec Jones, and he was speaking on the media, and he went out in the streets, and he was asking people what, like, kind of getting, like, an approval opinion of of what they people thought about the media. It's so – it's mind-blowing how much people take anything they say for fact. So it just goes to show that there's so many goat followers out there that they just don't, or sheep followers that they don't care. Like it's, it's kind of sickening really. Right. Um, you know, what gets me is when I, when I see people in the street and they're like, they're like, Oh yeah, Trump, he, he's a misogynist. He's racist. That's the only words they know how to use racist and misogynist. That's like the only words they can even say. And on top of that, I ask the, I ask this question all the time. What did Donald Trump say that was racist? You know what they told me? They say, oh, number one, now he raped women. 
Where did that come when? from? Yeah, where did that happen? Shut where did back. that? And they, they have absolutely no proof. And then they say he hates Mexicans. He hates all Mexicans. Oh, really? When did he say that? You know what he said? He said illegal immigrants are criminals. Guess what? Illegal immigrants. You broke a federal law. You're a criminal. I don't care if you're five years old or 500. You're a criminal. Bottom line. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's, that's and, always tell people that because even at work, sometimes you get under attack. If you're like, because there's a bunch of liberals that just hate Trump with a passion at uh, where I work. And they, you know what I would ask them? You know what I would ask them? I say, Hey, how, how do you like Obamacare? You, you like that premium you're paying? You like not being able to keep your doctor? See how they answer to that one. Cause they can't deny the facts. Obamacare is crap. And I bet you if any of your friends got kicked off on part time because of Obamacare, they, they should be liking Trump. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And that, and that's what I asked them too. Cause they always, they always pull the race card. Now watch the video that you just did right before this. Uh, you know about how everybody likes to pull the race card and everything else like that and it's it's so true because like B- blm is honestly the biggest fucking joke i've ever seen in my life and it, last night i had a guy on here tell me he said oh yeah blm we're peaceful we're peaceful and i said it started in ferguson missouri with right that's how it started it started with the right and it's going to end with a war i'm telling you and that's a good way to that's a good way to put it because it's true. But the guy last night said, "Oh, the Black Panthers—they're nothing like the KKK. They're they're not bad, <laughs> really? really. The Black Panthers have killed a ton of cops." They said he said, "Quote: The Black Panthers don't hang people like the KKK, so that justifies what? them. What? <laughs> they've done worse." I told him, "Damn man, they've done a lot worse than that." Let me tell you, oh, yeah. something else. But when they pull the race card, what you've got to do, what you've got to do is well first of all if you're white you know what i mean white people they 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 feel like they've got you but what you got to do is not get baited and simply what i do is i say okay you know how many black people have been enslaved by arabics like 10 million blacks have been enslaved by the muslims so let's stop right there and we can we don't have we don't need to put everything on the white man because guess what every culture does this to every other culture does that justify it no but it doesn't mean you can single out the whites and try and bait them into giving you something or making them feel bad. I hate white guilting. It's so stupid. Right. The white Ger- shaming. It's- Germans enslaved the Jews against their own will. Do you see Jews going in Germany and rioting against their government? No, it's over with. They don't, they're not going to sit there and hold a grudge over something that happened a long ass and, time ago. Right. And I asked them, the guys were like, I hate America because we, we kicked the native Indians off land. I said, okay, fine. Where does that get you? If you can sit there and talk about it all day, but how does that help you in your life right now to sit there and whine about 300 years ago? What good will it do you? And None. E- even then, Native Americans that live on land, on national reserves right now, I have multiple friends that, are, that live on, now on reserves. They have it way better than 90% of America right now. Oh, they get casinos. They get casinos. They get money from the government. They can they mind their own business and nobody bothers them. The only people that are complaining about the Nash, the the native the, the Native Americans that got kicked off is the people who are sitting there just trying to pick a fight with somebody. Like just don't. Like just a simple equation. But what gets me is it's like they're like p- today's generation acts like they struggle. Like kids today, black kids today will be like, "Oh uh, yeah, we struggle with slavery." The last time anything remotely really bad happened was the '60s, and you ain't no eighty-year-old person, so don't sit there and tell me you dealt with any of it. Okay nonsense i mean my dad my parents the worst they ever saw was segregated buses in schools that's where that's where their timeline ended you know it was the and and you're telling me that some 16 year old black kid is like all of a sudden like oh i was a slave no you weren't the worst that's happened is you've seen it in a history book and you just want to believe it to you i mean the worst the worst i've dealt with is i've had kids tell me like i love playing basketball right Right. So black kids, they'll be like, we don't want you on our team because you're white. That's about the worst I've gotten. I don't care. Whatever. I can still beat their ass anyway on the court. I still win. <laughs> I don't care. But see, that's that's the kind of – that's the racism they want to say that we're dealing with. It, I'm not going to go pick a fight with them. Whatever. I know. I get it. They got their own little problems. They want to run around sagging in their pants and act like they're better than everybody else. That's fine. You do what you want to do. But that's what I hate, pants sagging. Let me tell you something. That's disrespect. It's not culture. That's a bull. Crap. Well, they, I'm tired of it. they hate that, that that the white man coined the term for what, what that style is, and that's they call that racist. Well, 
don't don't let the like don't give us a reason to call you racist. Like let's say it's like they almost act out to see what we'll do. It really it's 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 not it's not against the white man. It's not against the black man. It's not against the white man. But it's like it's almost like people like to antagonize each other. It's not like it's necessary, really. And I just, yeah, it, it's um, uh, it's it's completely. I, I would I was I would like liken this post to irrational to say best. It, it it makes no sense to me. That that's it. It's it, that's what they want. They want people running around acting like a bunch of animals while they take everything we got. That's the video that I made. Um, was the point of that was hey they want us divided on skin color while yeah. they're taking everything we got. That's what they want. Divide and conquer. That's the key. And what did MLK say? I, you know what you should ask all these people that want to bait you racially? Ask them, what did MLK say? It's your character, not your skin color. He didn't say it's blacks and nobody yeah. else. He didn't say BLM. He said everybody matters. But they always quote MLK, but then they sit there and, and they turn around. They don't, they don't even listen to what he said. Like, it's, it's insane. No, they just want money. You know what it is? They want money and they want stuff. That's why they're rioting. They don't care about their race. They want money. Why do you think they ask for reparations? They want money. They don't care about their ancestors. You know what gets me? Is people say, oh, I'm African-American. I'm this, I'm that. Okay. No. Have you ever been there? No, you haven't. And, and the second thing is, it just gets me that they're like, oh, yeah, um, they were slaves hundreds of years ago. Okay. So what do you get from it? You just want money off of it? Is that how you're going to honor your ancestors? Getting a check from somebody else? How does that make you better? That's reverse racism. It doesn't make you better. It doesn't justify it. Right. And then uh, the other thing is, is uh, I like how – so they the BLM movement likes to target that Trump uh, is racist against, uh, you know, Mexican – trying to stay on topic. The BLM likes to uh, like to target Trump saying he's, gay, he's racist against uh, – against Mexicans. He wants to throw them all out of the country. And, you know, my brother married a Hispanic woman. And I so I straight up asked her after that. I called her right after the election. I said, all right. I was like, you're Hispanic. What do you say on Trump? She's like, well, I'm legal. I have nothing to worry about. I'm glad he's in office. From a Hispanic herself. I'm like, whoa, hold on. So I go out on a limb. I go on Facebook and I, I put out a post. I said, a Hispanic woman comes out right after Trump's election and says she's glad that Trump won. I well, yeah, a lot of a lot of them are the ones that are citizens. They love Trump because they get they get it, but the illegals hate him because the illegals ain't getting their little check. They're not getting their free tax free stuff anymore. That's why they're upset. It's always money and stuff. That's why they don't like it. Trump. It just it it boggles my mind that they're willing to burn down their own cities basically for for something they realistically can't change until january 20th yeah you can try to impeach him but the odds of that are kind of slim players ahead and also let's assume that donald trump was quote even if he was racist racism ain't a crime just straight up racism ain't a crime in court yeah so that's and the thing is he's not he he was hiring minorities before it was cool like back in the day in the 70s and 80s he was doing it before it was cool and they're like oh he, he hates women. He hates blacks. But there's no evidence for that. But see, that's the thing. The media has panicked. The media completely melted down this election because they did – they panicked. They did everything they could. And I said months ago on here and everywhere on my platforms, I said Donald Trump was going to win in a landslide. And everybody laughed at me, and that's fine. But look at me now. I was right. Have, I you, ever seen credibility the, have you ever seen the YouTube he videos of the news anchors? It's just a bunch of small, like, five-second clips of news anchors or newsreels. And people saying that Donald Trump will never win, and people like laugh at the of Donald Trump. Right, because see, and the media, what really was happening was the people behind the scenes they were scared to death because they had a feeling he was going to win. So they got all their media minions to go out and say, "Oh, he's going to lose." Did you see Washington Times was like, or Post was like, ninety five percent chance Hillary's going to win? And then here's the worst one: oh. Huffington Post. I. They had a video of a wax figurehead of Donald Trump melting that night, and it said, watch Donald Trump's head melt. And I'm just laughing because he won, baby. And that's what I give to the media right there. I give a nice bird to the media because they lost. And you know what? I, I've talked to Jones. I've talked to Alex Jones. 
and he was telling me that he's talked to the people inside the media. Oh, it's fucking crazy. I mean, it's it's. I mean, they 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 melted down. I mean, Rachel Maddow totally oh. melted. Um, CNN melted. Scott Pelly melted. And and now do you see what they're doing? They're running the fake oh, yeah, news little, little thing. Fake news. Fake news. They're the real fake news. They're calling. <laughs> report what's real, not what somebody else pays you to do. Like it's 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 so corrupt. It's it's disgusting. And and Pizzagate, Pizzagate is real. That yeah. is not a made up bullshit. Well, and then story. if people want to talk corrupt, let's go back to Obama. I think it's back in like. I think it was a year ago, uh, Lebanon, supporting all those financially, just uh, – what's the other one I'm looking for? Uh, there's another place. It's a key place uh, that Hillary keyed on for a little bit, and then Alex Jones says, oh, hell no. If you want to start talking about that, Obama supported them 100%. What was it? I'm drawing a blank right now. now that Libya? too, but my brother was there. Actually, when it started, when they started rioting and started re- revolting, he was there. He saw that stuff. And he said the United States, the own embassy did not even get a United States citizen who was working overseas. They did not even give him the right of passage out of there. They did not even buy him a plane ticket to get out of Libya. A man in the a Libyan citizen in the airport gave him, his wife and two sons tickets to get out of the country. Mind you, the last flight out of Libya. Well, I'll tell you, the whole thing about Libya um, is the ambassador there. Um, what was his name? Stevens? Oh, God. no, the ambassador. Uh, Stevens yeah, something. Steven. I... But yeah, Gaddafi. Um, now, that guy, relatively, he gave women a decent quality life. They could go to college. They didn't have to wear a hood over their head. What did Hillary Clinton do? When the ambassador was was he found out that Hillary was shipping missiles across the border through Turkey to Syria to give to the rebels who were actually Al Qaeda. Yeah. The Syrian rebels are Al Qaeda. They're not freedom fighters. Bull crap. But anyway, Hillary Clinton had that ambassador killed because he was he was about to run to the police just like Vince Foster in the nineties was running to the cops saying, hey, put- hey 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 look at this crime Hillary's committing. And what happens? They didn't exactly. send any help. He's he's wiped out and Hillary Clinton actually tried to blame a video she said oh it was a video that caused all this no it wasn't it was because hillary clinton didn't want anybody to know about the missiles she was selling to third world dictators that's what hillary clinton does and you know what the women now in libya they're back to the same old thing they got to wear a beekeeper suit they get beaten if they even look the wrong way and their husbands treat them like property now because Qaddafi's gone and you know what Qaddafi lived in he lived in a mud hut with a 10 foot wall around it he didn't have all this money. And what what, blow, what blows my mind is is uh, people people think that uh, the United States uh, they don't fun, like I've heard this first in first person that uh, people don't think that uh, United States fund wars financially like we just give we give groups we support money. We exactly. start all the wars on purpose. We we fund them all. Al Qaeda Al Qaeda was built by America in the seventies on purpose to then turn around and use that as leverage to make all the Americans scared. I mean, nine eleven that was all propagated because look at America, we're all scared of ISIS. ISIS, they're going to get us. So what do we do? We we turn in all our rights to be safe from the people yeah, who created ISIS. We built that's it's and people can't fathom that. The libtards they don't get it. They don't. They don't it, get it. It's sickening, honestly, because there's so many sheep followers that are just blind to whatever anyone else tells them. Makes no sense. Uh, and then, uh, all right, going back to subject anti Trump, uh, reasonable or irrational. So, I, what I really want to know is what what are these? Why, what are they writing for? What are they trying to accomplish out of all of this? I don't. I, I'm not understanding that fully. What, what is their goal? Well, most of them, most of them don't even know. They're just out there to be out there to cause trouble. You know what I mean? A lot of them are just out there to cause trouble. But I'm telling you, it's just because the, the, low, the average person that's doing it, they just think they're going to get some money or get a TV out of it. What are they doing? They go to the Best Buy in the Walmart and they go steal the TV. True. That's what they're doing. And also, they, they're the ones that are racist. You want to find the most racist people on this planet? Go to those liberals who voted for Hillary Clinton. They are the real yeah, racists. All, all the... Well, at first it wasn't even uh, yeah Hillary endorsed the BLM, but if you look, they want to do the uh, 
the Bloomberg polls and, and shit like that, they're they all most of them were against BLM. That's that's the big thing. Uh, Bloomberg, I don't know. Bloomberg polls is kind of a shithole in itself, but I mean, it showed it showed that the those people, the the libertarian, well, not libertarian, the liberals in general. I, I say in general because some of them are good. Some some of them are. Well, liberals liberals today aren't liberal. A real liberal is Thomas Jefferson, a classic liberal. But today, they're just authoritarian freaks. I mean, it's a freak show. It's a basket case. That's what we should call them. They're not – Let's. I'm going to stop using the word liberal. Authority. They are basket cases of authoritarianism. That's that's what these people are. They're basket cases. They're insane. They're retarded. They're not liberal. It's coin right there. That's, that's, that's true. There's no doubt behind it. And what, what, what really what really makes it we're like a, kind of obsessed me because like okay Obama no I wasn't able to vote then but I kind of cast my opinion in school because they ask us so I was like you know I don't support Obama but if he gets elected I'm gonna give him every right his right to give him a chance in office you know you know, we don't know what he can do you know not everything a candidate says he's gonna do will happen we know this it's happened multiple times before jfk for example he couldn't do everything well probably because he got fucking assassinated but well yeah he he got shot because well we won't get into that today but <laughs> he got shot because the big bankers they didn't exactly. like him so they had to get rid of him. um but with obama i when he won did you see all these um i don't i don't assimilate with republicans but all the republicans did you see them out in the street burning no. stuff and stealing cars? Did you see a bunch of white people? No, you didn't see that. But what did you see? The blacks. They were riding because he won. Win or lose, they're out there in the streets burning stuff. I mean, either way, they were out there doing it. But the thing is, it's different because their guy won, right? They don't care. But you know what's funny is when Hillary was running, she said, how dare you, Trump? You're not going to accept the outcome of the election. Well, look at how your people are acting when you and lost. She gives that <laughs> whole uh, – the whole speech, because Alex Jones said this, she gave after her post-election speech about how uh, she just like, I don't know, like wanted to go in a curl up in a ball, read a good book or whatever, put on basically a pity party for herself. Alex Jones <laughs> ra- roasted her for a solid hour because she, she I, was yeah. trying, like <laughs> she, she may, tried to make it look like she was peaceful and just didn't like, you know, want to, promote anything bad with reality no she was telling the people like go do my work for me be my sheep do my work for me she's she's a warlord she is a warlord who wants to cause total destruction because look at what she's getting she's making more money than you can count off of all this stuff I mean, she, she's she is a power hungry demon that's what she is and and she's worse than obama because obama Obama didn't even want to be president. He just likes to agitate and divide. Hillary Clinton now, she wants it all. I mean, she, the New World Order, um, well, you remember Bilderberg, the Bilderberg meeting in 2008. You remember when Hillary and Obama went missing for for a few days? And what happened was, and of course, what happened was um, the the Bilderberg group decided that day that Hillary was going to wait. Obama was getting in because America was not ready for the woman president yet they were going to wait till 2016 you know for the woman president but obama it was perfect 2008 you know they they said oh bush that's when they started the white man crap oh we hate bush i didn't like bush was terrible but i'm just saying they they hated on bush and then they used they used obama and because he was black right they said you're racist if you don't vote for obama and 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 i'm gonna tell you i don't care who anybody ran against obama obama was gonna win in a way i don't care who you were i don't care if you were donald trump times 10 you were not gonna be Obama yep. in 08. It was not going to happen because the white working class, they loved Obama. The, right. the, the unions, all the whites that work with the unions, they loved Obama. And then Obama turned around and all screwed them all over. And now that's why they all voted for Trump this time, all the right. white working folks. Well, the, I, the unions. I think a real reason why people wanted to vote for Trump is because he doesn't identify himself really partially as a politician these days. He, he, he doesn't like to because he's a businessman. He knows how to turn a million dollars to several billion dollars. That's what, That's what I've always been saying. Exactly. I, people say Donald Trump's stupid. Really? He turned a million to a billion. Yeah, yeah. He's, He's pretty smart. Zeros to a million. I, I call him pretty good. And then, and then people want to say that, uh, oh, he doesn't know how to solve the national debt crisis. Give him a chance. You haven't even tried it. You're like no one, no one knows. And, the and Obama did. 
Obama doubled. He took all the presidents combined and doubled the debt on top of that. So, yeah, I guess Obama did a real nice job while he was sitting at Martha's Vineyard, sipping on a cocktail while he was running exactly. us out of money. So, yeah, I guess Obama yeah. really did a nice job. And, and people are trying to say Obama is this great president. What did he do? Give me one accomplishment that he did for even black people. Give me one thing Obama did for anybody, and they can't say a thing because he's horrible. That's what right. Well, I think the biggest thing BLM uses Obama for is that he's a scapegoat for them. That's what he is. And uh, it just makes no sense. And then touching up on the budget again, the whole thing, uh, uh, Donald Trump said that he's going to cancel the order of the new Air Force Ones. I encourage that because honestly, there is so much planning that goes into a presidential movement that it is literally impossible hmm. to sh- shoot down a shoot down a presidential aircraft. B Make another assassination attempt on him. Unless the CIA and the Secret Service slack, intentionally slack on what they're doing, it is impossible to assassinate another president. I don't think, um, well, I think the elites Elites control that, though. Obviously. Right, right. But the question is, do the elites really, if they push their, now they're arrogant, right? They're arrogant. They will pull some nutty stuff, but do they really? want to go that far because let me tell you if they take out trump well they got bill well, pence will just show up that's not going to be any better pence will just but the thing is with trump because of the way the news is now if they try and kill him they're going to reveal like they're going to reveal themselves too much 9 11 they got caught sandy hook they got caught right waco they got caught they keep sitting out now boston boston bombing Ooh, they really got caught on boston they they really pushed their luck on that one and if they do it now i think I don't think that I don't think he's going to get killed. I think he's going to get in, and we're going to see. We're really going to see if he's their little secret weapon, if he's really the globalist secret weapon, or he's really the grassroots man that we all hope that he is. And people, right? People say, um, "Oh, Donald Trump." He's a lot of people say that I know that I agree with a lot. They they're purists. They'll say, "Oh, Trump's just the other side of the coin. Nothing will change." You know. They said it's too hard to get in unless you're uh, one of them, right? But remember this. Donald Trump is one of the only guys who's a mega billionaire that doesn't go to Bilderberg. He doesn't talk to Kissinger and Soros and, and, and these scumbags. He doesn't talk to them. He doesn't, they don't like him. Now, people will say, oh, well, maybe that's just all the show. Really? Then that's a really good scam they've been running since he was born. Since the day he was born, they, <laughs> they, they have mind controlled him that long. I just, I... It, it's just too good. It's too rich. I mean, the way Donald Trump did everything, the way the media hammered the guy, just the way it is, I don't see this as a scam. I don't see him as being a scam. Like Obama was a scam. They acted like he was this grassroots guy, but we could see through that. I mean, his dad was a child pornographer communist. We could see all of that. That was clear. Well, yeah, that's that, that, very true. He's speaking the truth. And Hillary Clinton... Do you really think that they would double cross her? Do you think that the globalists would say, okay, we're going to let you win? And they secretly didn't tell her that Trump was really their inside guy who was going to win and act like he was beating the bad Hillary so that the people right. would be happy. But I don't think they would double cross Hillary because you don't, you do, she knows where the bodies are hidden. You don't double cross Hillary Clinton. She'll find you and she will kill you. That, right. That's right. And I mean, even if they, even if they did, there's a, very, very good possibility that they are suppressing her right now because honestly, no one's seen too much of her since post election. <laughs> well, she can't even stand up more than five minutes. Yeah, she no. can't even stand up. Have you ever seen those, apart. Uh, the uh, thing? Uh, Alex Jones put some videos out about uh, how she always has to have a doctor on staff, like right next to her all the time. So, right. So, you know all about that. So, I don't have to. Yeah, well, she can't even walk down the steps without collapse. She has to have people help her down the steps because she loses balance and gets dizzy just walking down right. the steps. She'll that's fall. what I mean. That that's om- that's literally almost a definition of a rag doll. Really, that's just it makes it makes no sense. Why? And what it is too is if you look at her health the last couple years on the campaign trail, the reason why it's gotten so bad is because she the people that work with her, her campaign people, they'll tell you. They don't like her because when she gets in an attitude, she, I mean, she's punched, she punched Bill in the face. She's thrown Bibles at Secret Service. You know what she did? She told a guy when, when Bill was president, she told a Secret Service guy, hey, fuck, go fuck yourself when he said good morning. I mean, Hillary Clinton, she doesn't give a damn about people. She, she, she hates people. That's actually one of her psychological conditions. 
she doesn't like people. So how she's, the hell are you going to be president? Yeah, president? She's, a, hmm. she's crazy. No telling what she would do with several thousand nukes in her arsenal. Just be a little temperamental with a world leader, a, a, i.e. Vladimir Putin, see what happens. But the nuclear missiles, I think, obviously, the nuclear missiles are just there. It's just a deterrent, um, really. But yeah, some fear of them can be used, though. Don't, don't mistake that. They, they're still active. Well, there's enough of them to blow up the world over, 30 exactly. times over. And it just it yeah, takes um, – that's the thing. It takes just one time to get on Vladimir Putin's bad side, and it's done. Like there's no going back because – And you, you notice that – what is the media doing? Oh, it's all Russia's fault. Every time Russia's something bad fault. happens, Russia did it. Russia did it. That's insane. Like it's total ins- insanity. And what they're doing is they're, they're playing off the thing like, oh, yeah, he's KGB. He, he, he's a bad guy. If anybody – I'm taking Putin because he actually sets it straight. When Putin speaks to the media, he yeah. speaks facts. Whether he's now he's not a he's not an angel he's done some bad stuff but let me tell you he at least he's speaking truth unlike Hillary and Obama he's said right. That's, right that's very true he get he uh, he and he gets things done in his country that's the problem and I saw that um, so people I think not Alex Jones but somebody else put this uh, this picture out um, it was it was quotes from Vladimir about um, immigrants and he says to live in Russia you have to speak Russian. To, you know, and it was all about like, if you wanted to be in Russia, you have to know our culture, you have to know our language, we're not going to assimilate to you. Which, I mean, if you're Russia, that's fine. But the good- but that's, that's, that's nationalism speaking, that's a good thing. That's what America should be about is you want to come here, you should learn to assimilate with us. We're not going to cater to your every, like, we're not going to cater to right. Sharia law. You're not going to come here and make all the women wear hoods. And cut people's hands off. We're not doing that. That's not going to happen. And I don't That's, even not, I think most people that are are for you know the Muslims coming over from Syria. I don't even think they read or understand what Sharia law entails. They they must not or never never even brief. Well, you know, in, in Dearborn, Michigan, they practically – that's practically the law in Dearborn, Michigan. It is Sharia law. I mean it's all, it's all a big mosque if you go to Dearborn. It's just a big mosque. I mean it's, it's basically that bad. I mean all the, women are, all the women are wearing hoods. I mean it's bad. And, and in Saudi Arabia, right, they throw gay people off rooftops, but yet our media says, oh, we, we love Islam. It's great. It's great. It's peaceful. Really, it's tolerant. It, Islam tolerates gays. They, no, they hate gay people. And and nowhere in the Quran or anywhere does it say to 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 treat others all with respect. It's Islam or nothing. That's what, that's what. Yeah, we're gonna kill you. The rule is we're gonna kill you if you don't assimilate with us. That's how these people. That's their mentality. We're exactly. gonna kill you. And they're all, oh, Islam's so peaceful. And no, even my brother, he he worked in Libya. He lived amongst the Muslims. They looked at him as an evil, unbastardly coward. That's, that's how they viewed him. <laughs> and one of them told that to him straight to his face. So every time my brother, he says, every time I hear somebody say that the Muslims are peaceful, I cringe. Because it's such a bullshit lie. Well, they say Islam's a religion of peace. Really? What? <laughs> but they always say that. They always say that. After, remember the oh, nightclub yeah. shooting? Islam's a religion of peace. Really? Well, why are we even saying this when 50 people have been killed? Why, why are you bringing that up? And then they say, oh, he had nothing to do with Islam. He pledged allegiance to Islam right before he exactly. went in there and shot him on Facebook. Exactly. <laughs> it's and insane. People want to say that they're peaceful again. Well, why have the uh, Muslims – they've been in civil war for several thousand years. How, how is that peaceful? They, they've been in war in their own country, in their own homes. Sunnis and Shiites have exactly. always been, fighting. and they're both. They both claim to be Muslim. They both claim to practice Sharia law. They both read the Quran. Makes no sense that people claim them to be peaceful. They're not. They. That's that's something that somebody tried to put on, i.e., the world order to try to cover up whatever they're doing. No telling. So it it, it just makes no sense. And I I um. <sighs> It's it's at the point now where if imagine if Hillary had gotten in right she was coming for the guns. Um, I just recently finished building another AR um, a couple months ago because I was like you know what uh uh-uh. uh I, I I thought Trump was going to win but I wasn't going to bank on it that much so I went ahead and, and stocked up beforehand because let me tell you there's there's millions and millions and millions of private citizens that are armed to the teeth we can whoop the New World Order's butt if they really come for us and if we come together but the problem is if we're fighting over skin color. We're never going to get to that point. And that's what these these protests, that's what it's all about. 
is is it's just a bunch of racist crap that people don't even understand so that exactly. we're all divided very true and that's my entire family agrees with that statement in, its, in and of itself that it's it's all rigged against us and that it is <laughs> so okay well i have to be going to work in a little bit so i appreciate the uh understanding about this uh or helping me understand about these protests. I appreciate it a lot. All right. All right. All right man.